Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll guide you through setting up a web server that connects with Comfy UI via an API, letting you build your own web application. If you're thinking about launching your own AI SaaS and need a Comfy UI server to handle various workflows, this tutorial will show you how to execute prompts through an API to get results back from your Comfy UI server. For this setup, I'm using a basic fast API server, which connects to my Comfy UI server through a WebSocket. This way, it can listen for image results, and once the image is ready in Comfy UI, FastAPI sends it back to the browser to display it for me. The client side is a simple HTML page with some JavaScript to load the binary image data, but you could easily use this code in a next.js app if that's your preference, which I have right here. So if I just click this button right here, it sends that request to my FastAPI server, which will then communicate with my Comfy UI server to get the image and return it back to the browser. I won't be going through the next.js setup in this video, but if you like the code for it, you can join my Discord channel and I'll let you know how to set that up. Alright, let's dive in and set up our API server in FastAPI. For anyone who's new to FastAPI, it's a modern web framework that's really optimized for speed. It's built on top of Python's asynchronous capabilities so it can handle tons of requests at once, which makes it perfect for apps that need to be fast and responsive, like anything AI related and interactive. To set up FastAPI, you'll need to install FastAPI itself along with an ASGI server to run it like UVCorn. First, you want to install FastAPI and UVCorn with pip installed FastAPI UVCorn. But before that, I do want to recommend to create your own virtual environment with python mvmb vmv Once you have FastAPI and UVCorn installed as your package, you want to create main.py, which is a FastAPI server you will start up. And in the main.py, I'm just going to type out some boilerplate code to start up the server. First, you want to do from FastAPI import FastAPI, and then instantiate that server. And then I'm just going to create a very simple hello get request endpoint, which I will be calling from the web server. Now, if you type uvicorn main colon app dash dash reload, it should spin up a localhost instance. Now, if you search localhost port 8000 slash hello, which is the endpoint that we created, uh, you should see the hello message, hello world message that uh, you returned from the Fest API server. On the boilerplate code that we created, I'm just going to add a couple of more stuff. First, I'm going to add the query, which allows you to define query parameters in your API endpoint. It makes it easy to pass input from the client. And the streaming response used to send streaming data, like an image as a response, which is ideal for large files or media contents like images and videos. And then I'm going to add a course middleware, which is going to handle cross origin sharing, which allows you to call API from your browser to the fast API server without being blocked. I'm also going to import IO, which is a module that is going to handle streams of data. It's going to be used for in-memory byte stream for the image data. And then I'm going to import Comfy UI service in the end, uh, which is going to be a service class that we're going to be creating. And I added this in the GitHub repo, so you don't need to follow me as I write the code in the video. We're also going to be creating a new get endpoint, which is called the get image. And then we're going to be defining input as a query param, uh, it's of type string, which is going to be a input that we'll be sending in from the browser as a prompt. And this line just takes the image binary data and wraps it in an in-memory byte stream using the class. And this line uses a streaming response object, which is going to push the content of the image data to the client. And we're setting the type of the file to image slash PNG. This is going to inform the client how to interpret the content. Now that we have the API server set up, let's create a Comfy UI service class that we will be calling to communicate with the Comfy UI application through the WebSocket. For your information, I added this in the GitHub link, so you can check that in the description down below. There is a couple of things that you need to know before your app to work. First, you need to copy your own JSON workflow that is loaded in your Comfy UI. I have the image result connected to this save image WebSocket node, which is a built-in node that allows you to get the image result without saving the image file to your machine. You can use the workflow.json that I created and upload to upload it to GitHub, or you can set up your own workflow that connect your image to the save image WebSocket node. Just make sure that your output is connected to the save image WebSocket node. And by the way, the workflow that I have set up is for Flux. 
If you set up your own workflow, you need to go to your Comfy UI app and go to settings and enable the dev mode option. If you don't have this option, you probably want to update your version. When you click this button, the save API format button will show up. You want to download this file and copy and paste it to the prompt text variable. What you really want to modify is the node for clip text encode or whatever node you are using for the text prompt. So I want to modify this text field of the node before enqueuing the prompt to the Comfy UI API. So this input is the param I'm passing in from the get request endpoint. Like I said before, since I'm using flux model, I only care about the positive prompt, so I don't need a negative prompt. But if you're using a model that uses a negative prompt, you want to add another query param to change the clip text node's text, which is for your negative prompt node. If you're getting an import error on WebSocket, you can pip install WebSocket-Client to install the package. To go through the WebSocket code briefly, we're essentially listening to the results while the Comfy UI executes. The output will be a JSON string if it is still executing, or it will be a binary data when it finishes executing, which is what we are checking right here. We're stripping out the 8 bytes here because I think it contains metadata, headers, or some form of additional information that isn't part of the actual image data. Once the execution finishes, the node that we will be at is the save image WebSocket. And this is when we have the actual image data and we'll be returning this back to here and we will be returning back, returning it back to the client where we will display the image. Okay, so now the actual front end and the JavaScript code, I have the code here in the GitHub repo so you can check it out as well. All I'm doing here is getting the input prompt from the text box and sends that to the get image endpoint that we created in the fast API server. When we have the response back from the fast API server as it executes it through the comfy UI API, uh, it takes a blob, uh, which is a binary data or the streaming response that we uh, returned from the endpoint. And we'll be creating a unique URL with the binary data we got back from the response. And we will be using it as an image source. Well, that's it guys. This is a very simple way to call the Comfy UI through an API in your application. Let me know any issues you run into in the comments. And you can also join my Discord channel to ask questions or ask help in the channel. And I'll try my best to answer the question. Thanks for watching.